I got my Epiphone Les Paul. And unfortunately, she had a tumble the other day and uh, landed on her switch. So, guitar still works. Uh, however, we go to the treble. Treble pickup is not working. So, I'm going to pop this switch out, which I've already taken the liberty to start doing. So, the way this switch works is there are two sets of metal contacts and the actual switch mechanism moves a set of the contacts out of the way. One half of the, the contact, the metal gets bent out of the way, essentially opening the circuit. So what's happening in this case, uh, I guess when my guitar fell, it looks like it bent the metal contact. And normally these contacts should be closed. They should be touching one another. So that's what I've got to fix. I've got to bend that inner piece of metal back into a straight position. Let's try to do that. And I'm going to try to do this without unsoldering the switch. Unscrew it. It's just little Phillips heads. I've even got my amp still on. I don't recommend you do that. Endless thread edition. Oh, she came apart. I'm gonna have to go look for parts on the ground. Plate. Just try to keep all the parts in order. The everything is kind of sandwiched together. You can see how the undamaged one is nice and straight, and the damaged one is bent. Good. Oh yeah, all the sounds. Oh. Cool. She gonna move. That's okay, you can move. Oh, these are a unit. Look at that. Perfect. Just like that. Now I gotta reassemble this bad boy. So I got my insulators on the center of the switch. Insulator means circuit board piece. The brown stuff. This portion of the switch is one piece of metal. And it clamps over like that. And then we got more insulators. It's basically an insulator metal sandwich. So you got metal, you got an insulator, and you alternate. Once we got that little core going on, I'm gonna get some of these dowels in. And these kind of the little black plastic dowels align the different layers you gotta make sure that all your layers are nice and square or they won't go in and don't get too much going on you know there we go and then the second one should be easier she going, she going, there we go, don't give up, it's gonna, it's gonna be alright. Okay, got our fish buff sandwich, one of these should be the back plate, there is the back plate. And you're kind of going to be juggling the dowels. There's not much depth to them, but they're fully pushed in on the back, and then they should just barely protrude on the front. Get a screw started. Get your back plate. That's that little figure eight looking thing. Get that started over here with our Phelps. She like that. Okay. Same dish over here. Everything aligned and grooved. Make adjustments as necessary. All right. Well, sounds better. Let's see.